Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is who I'm voting for. Is how Casey Neistat started his video the other day. Casey Neistat, if you don't know, I tricked you, didn't I? I thought you you thought that I said I was gonna vote for Hillary Clinton. You crazy? Well, that's not crazy. I'm not saying that's crazy. You crazy? Because yeah, I, I tricked you. You've been tricked. Um, yeah, so if you don't know who Casey Neistat is, by the way, get your dislike and crazy angry fingers ready. Oh, the arguers. You're waiting at your keyboard. You can't wait. Let's fight, huh? Well, you can't fight me. I'm beat up low. I'm nice guy. We can't fight. But let me tell you, Casey Neistat, a vlogger, somebody who I really love watching, someone who has influenced me very heavily. Oh, hello. Ooh, uh, what fantastic video creator. A zombie spawner, huh? Okay. Hey, check this out, man. It's all right. I like this. I'll take this. Let me take that saying back, suck a fool. This is okay. I'm happy boy. Very nice. He uploaded a video the other day called Who I'm Voting For, and he said... He's voting for Hillary Clinton. And <clears throat> that's fine. That is totally fine. Vote for whoever you like. But I also, or well, I didn't, I didn't also, I liked last night on Twitter. You saw, you may have seen that I hit the like button on a video. Is that a village? Sure it is. Oh, there's a sunflower plains as well. You see, I hit the like button on a video from H3H3 Productions. Ethan Klein. Who, oh, these farms look so nice with these textures. Don't they? They look so much nicer. Very nice. I wonder if the cartographers can spawn here. Probably not. Um, but what H3H3 Productions uh, stand was on this... Uh, because well, well, let me let me go back a little bit more. Casey Neistat said, uh, "I challenge you to go to your favorite big YouTubers and force them. Don't force them, but tell them to get a spine and v tell you who they're voting for." Um. <laughs> so. I have to disagree with that. Um, I'm not going to tell you who I'm voting for. And it's not out of fear that you're going to dislike me. Okay? I am not going to tell you who I'm voting for. Number one, because, uh, you know, it's not all said and done. Everything that... Uh, is going to go on with this election. It's not all said and done. Sorry, this is a heavy episode, but it has to be talked about because since Casey said that stuff, I still love him, still love his content. Um, now I'm getting spammed with who are you voting for? Who are you voting for? So let's talk about it, okay? Um, the, the reason why I'm not going to tell you the main reason why is because you should not be listening to YouTubers on who they're voting for, okay? There might be some really, really informed YouTubers. I'm talking very informed. Like, they are... You know, they work in the White House, or they're very engrossed in, in you know, government. They, they have a government position of some sort. They have a lot of knowledge, okay? Then maybe knowledge. I sounded like that one guy. Uh, then maybe, you know, that's a YouTuber to, to uh, listen to. But outside of that, the majority of us are entertainers, okay? So if B-dubs... Screw B-dubs is to sit here and tell you who I'm voting for and why. Um, I don't think that's a wise move. I don't think that's a wise move at all. I think that it's very important that everybody in this election who can vote, and I think a lot of us can now because we've all kind of grown up together, haven't we? 
I think that it's important that you do your own research. I think uh, media and the internet now plays such a huge role in influencing you. And, and you see, I mean, through, you know, all this stuff that has come out, we have two, uh, two candidates, two main candidates. Well, I shouldn't say main, but a Republican and a Democrat, uh, Democratic candidate who are, uh, one of them is a rapist, a racist. The other one is, is married to a, a rapist and the, the, she is, um, Oh, what else is she? Oh, she's a criminal. She should be put in jail. Uh, <laughs> like, it's insane. It is insane. Uh, what is being put out there in the media and, and how these people are being painted morally. It's crazy. This election is crazy. And that's why everything is so heated. And I challenge you guys. Here's my challenge, okay? I challenge you. As I talk about politics a little bit, which you will probably never hear ever again on this channel, um, I challenge you guys to have these... It, it, Either don't discuss in the comments at all, or if you do discuss, be civil about it. That's what I would suggest, and that's what I would love to see. That's my challenge, okay? Uh, if you can pull that off, then we win. We, we did a great job here today. Um, but I... Well, now I've lost my freaking train of thought. Here you go. But uh, basically, I think that... Uh, right now, think people are so heated over everything that gets brought up in the media. Uh, and, and basically, if you are voting for one person or the other, you're the worst. If you're on the other side and if you don't ac actually like that person, you're the worst. You are a racist or a rapist. You should be put down. You're the worst type of human. Um... I think that that's crazy that this election has has done that. Um, so, <clears throat> I what I what I'm saying here is that I think that it's very important for YouTubers and the media to really kind of almost stay out of it. As crazy as that sounds, stay out of it. Let people do the research for themselves. It, it's like saying you're too stupid to figure it out on your own. If I were to sit here and tell you, you have to vote, write in B double O. Write in Ted Cruz. It, that's saying you're too stupid to do your own research and figure out who's a good person, who's a bad person. And, and, and that's the crazy thing is it comes down to who's good person, who's bad person, who's the worst, who's the best out of the two terrible worst people. No. Who shoots? Who shoots me? Hey, Shaw, I see you. Boy, you fast strafe. What a fast strafe. I got you, boy. Well, look at this duel. Who boy, he put the herd in. Did I get a bow out of that? Because that seemed like he had a good one. No, I did not. Um. I so so I'm saying stay away from the media. That's something don't do, you know. To stay away from the media. Do your own research on these people. Dig do as much digging as you can. Okay? We have the internet. You can figure a lot of things out. So that's a don't. Here's a do though. Well, you know, what what you can do when you're doing your research, I think a great thing is looking at uh voter history. Now, politics are pretty ridiculous in my opinion i think there's so much uh no matter what no matter who you are if you're involved in politics in one way or another there's a lot of co corruption in there people voting for you know voting for certain things because they're getting kickbacks and this and that i mean have you ever seen house of cards you know <laughs> no but uh, there is there is a lot of that that's gone on and uh and i think it's very important to uh, be very careful, but uh, a, a candidate's voting history can tell a lot, I think. So, 
I, that's what I try to do. I try to look at their voting history. What what sort of things, if they are president, because morals, okay, morals play a little bit of a part, but how how are they, ooh, piece of iron. A lot of what they're going to do politically is going to be very reflected upon their voting history as long as it was somewhat honest, you know? Um, so, yeah. I, that's that's my recommendation. Um, don't trust what you hear and and believe this that everything that you think you know about the candidates, all four of them, I guess, uh, you can throw that out the freaking window. Okay, it's either just the tip of the iceberg or it's not even close to who that person actually is. It's one or the other. You don't get the you don't get the full story on these candidates. You have unless and this is what I've always said. My wife laughs at me. But I said, unless I get to spend a good week with these people and really get to watch them and see what type of person they are, you don't know them. It's like saying it's like you ever get this is for guys, girls, too. But if you ever get hooked up by a friend like set up and they've got like a little bit of a motive for why they're hooking you up with that person on a date and then you go out with them and you're like, what the heck was that all about? Who was that person? I've had those in the past. That's what this is. Everybody tell you, you know, CNN is, is they, they love Hillary. They come out obvious with it. Fox News loves Trump. So they're going to tell you who they think you should date. Here's your best freaking friend. You're going to love this person. But no, 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 no. Don't do that, okay? Meet a girl. Hang out with her, date her yourself, get to know her yourself. And then if you decide to marry her on your own, great. But don't let other people sway you and tell you you got to marry this person because you're going to end up divorced. In some cases. <laughs> so anyway, uh, get as mad as you like about it uh, and about my standpoint. But uh, I, I think it's very important. Main thing, do your own research and... Uh, don't listen to all the garbage out there. Now, now that all that unimportant stuff is out of the way, let's talk about some really important stuff. Were you, <laughs> were you paying attention as I was walking around? Because if you were, you will notice that there was a change in the texture pack. The acacia wood. I've changed it. It's different now. And I built this little building here. Uh, to give a little example of what I'd like to do. If you did notice that there was acacia, you're allowed to vote. And you're allowed to pick. If you didn't notice, you can't vote. It's official. That's a rule now. I made that a rule in the United States of America. Okay. So, I changed the acacia wood. I toned it down a little bit. Let's go look at the old one, shall we? Blit, blit. Get ready to puke. Are you ready? I'm ready. I hit the done button. Hello? Did I crash? No. Bleh! Disgusting. Am I right? Well, I mean, this is all subjective. Some of you might think it's great. But if you want color in your build, especially that bright orange color, get it with, like, wool or clay. We have the blocks to do that. These structural wood blocks that have stairs, which are so valuable, they don't need to be super saturated. And super contrasty. So I think that this is a big improvement. A much better uh, use for acacia wood. And of course, I'm going to... Let's see, I have the logs here. I'm going to have to change that as well. But I think it'll, it'll end up being a really, really nice block once I get those colors to match up there. Um, so I made that change. And I think it's one that I'm going to stick with and that I'm going to love. But... Since I made that change, I'm looking at these buildings here, and I thought, that dark is, this is too contrasting, a little too hard for me. That's too stripety, uh, especially for a roof situation. So, I made a little change, and I built this guy here, and used uh, spruce, spruce wood. I think it's great. 
What did I did I just say earlier? Don't listen to YouTubers and then tell you what to do. Classic. Classic. Oh, that's the one. That's the one in the comments. I knew I knew I'd say something. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think this looks fantastic. I think it looks really, really nice. Better, much better contrast makes me a lot more excited to build out in this area. I think that that color with the light blue, it all works so much better. I am fighting with this very small to very large on top um, build. I know it's kind of fantasy-esque. I learned it from Lynchy Inc., from goodness sakes, one of my favorite builders of all time. But I had to kind of expand the base a little bit to make it feel a little more structurally sound for my brain head. I don't know. But I think it's definitely getting there. It's definitely improving. Don't you? It's, um... Yeah, with that texture change, this area is taking a, a big step in the right direction. I believe. But let's see if we can't... Let's try something fun here before... <gasps> Did I lose my pants? I lost my diamond pants. Fricker, man. Shoot. Oh, I hope they didn't have anything good in them. Did I lose... I must have taken... Oh, that stupid idiot. I bet you... It was that skeleton that shot at us earlier. That's what it was. But anyway, let's see if I don't know how to use this. Hmm? And let's see if we can't fly out of here. Let's give it a shot. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I did it. Oh, and the sound. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that this had to be a heavy episode, but I think it is important in a way. Um, to just educate some of you that were a little bit influenced by what Casey was saying. Great guy. Great person, great entertainer, um, but just I disagree with what what he was saying there a little bit, and had to kind of uh, kind of put out some fires in my own comments and Twitter section because of it. So, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy. People ask all the time, "When's the texture pack coming out? When's the texture pack coming out?" Let's do next episode. Remind me, and we'll do it. All right. Love you guys to death, and we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.